and gals, this is Sinek Arrow with the IS-6 Tier 8 Russian Premium Tank. And this is a Tier 9 match. Well, there's a lot of Tier 9s in this game. And I'm speeding this up because the IS-6 is not very good at traversing on sand. So I've got my usual buddy with me, Konzo, and the FCM-50T. He's taken a beating already, and I haven't even gotten there yet. Alright, so basically I'm moving around on this hill because there's a T-54 that's uh, down there and he, he can get shots in onto anybody that's trying to hide behind the ridge in front of me. And of course there's two Tier 9 uh, autoloaders, the T-54E1 and the Lorraine 40T. So, a whole lot of nothing so far. Alright, here we go. First shot. IS-6, that was a miss. <clears throat> Kanzo gets taken out. And I'm going to go in for another shot because IS-6 is moving out. Shot manages to connect and the T-54 and Lorraine are pushing over together. They're in a platoon together and they're both pretty good players as well. Oh, and I got hit by the artillery, which is in the same platoon as the other tier 9, well, those two tier 9 tanks right there. I uh, managed to take out the Lorraine with the help of, I'm not sure, artillery, perhaps. And I managed to bounce a shot from the front uh, from an unknown enemy tank. Alright, we were doing pretty well uh, so far. Or team anyway. But it kind of falls apart later on. Here's a T-54 taking on AMX 1390. Not good. <clears throat> I managed to get a side shot in and immediately started loading my premium rounds because it's got some pretty good uh, turret armor and I don't know if I can get through it. So that was a pretty high roll but not enough to kill it and now the T-54 is gonna destroy my health with its pretty awesome DPM. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get him. Oh dear. And there we go. Managed to get him. I don't know if uh, that was an artillery shot that just tried to help, help me. And then another section of me doing nothing but drive around. So I'm basically making sure that I'm not going to get hit by that T-54E1. It's a four-shot autoloader. Okay, he's actually over there. I didn't know if he um, he or she came over and uh, decides to go after me. I can probably get taken out in one hit from that thing. So our T-44 is taking him on. And uh, he gets taken out. So I'm reversing here, and then I suddenly remembered uh, he probably fired all four shots, and he's an autoloader, so he's going to be reloading for uh, probably 20 to 30 seconds, something like that, and that should let me have two uh, or three good hits while he's still reloading. Alright, here we go. Take him out. And our team is basically gone. It's just uh, me, there's a Fosh, and the GW Panther <clears throat> versus a T95 and an IS-6. And, uh, alright, so I crested that ridge and I got spotted. So the T95 is probably the one that spotted me and I don't want to move and get shot. One shot from him is going to take me out and I don't think even my premium rounds can get through uh, the front of an I. Uh, sorry, a T95. <clears throat> and nobody's... Uh, well, the IS-6 is still at base. I don't know if he's AFK or not. I'm moving in cautiously, hoping the artillery can help me out there. IS-6 hasn't moved at all, so he's AFK. And let's see what we can do about this T95. Where is he? He's moving. Uh oh. <clears throat> Probably a bad shot. I should have gone for a track. 
but I don't think my gun depression was good enough to hit the tracks and reverse M96 is not very good either. So I get taken out by the T95. With 3 minutes left in the match it becomes a draw but I don't have the screenshots for it. Oh well, thanks for watching, please press that like button and leave some comments. I will see you in future videos.